Yo, so how's it going guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. Now in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some more leaks to do with the upcoming DLC, which should be getting released in the next week or so. We're also going to cover the release date of this DLC, along with when we can expect the trailer, as well as taking a closer look at the brand new leaks, the characters involved and the properties that we should be expecting to get. So as always, if you guys do go on to enjoy the video and you do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest is gta 5 news all i ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below and if you guys are new around here hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as i do post daily gta 5 videos with that being said let's get into the video okay so in case you guys missed my video yesterday i will leave it linked down low in the description however we spoke about the new gang that rockstar games are going to be introducing into gta 5 online they're going to be known as the juggalos and a lot of you guys are probably thinking who are these juggalo characters what exactly are they about and what can we expect from them now franklin actually goes ahead and describes them saying the following there's a bunch of creepy ass drug dealers making headlines right now selling nasty stuff to anyone and everyone the whole city wants them dealt with and that's basically what franklin describes them as during a payphone hit mission now the juggalos are actually a minor gang featured in gta 5 and in gta 5 online they're a drug dealing based gang who participate in juggalo subculture they're easily identifiable by their baggy fatal incursion shirts 90s gangbanger fashion sense and color code of red white green and black and a clown themed shirt tattoos and face and body paint now the behavior of the juggalos is much like the hippies juggalos are not aggressive towards players outside mission scenarios they will usually run away when in the vicinity of any aggressive acts so as i'm sure you guys were aware there's certain npc characters that are programmed in gta 5 online when if stuff starts to kick up so if you start to lick random gunshots in the air then these mps will pull out a gun and start fighting back with you guys so the juggalo characters aren't like that they won't be classified as aggressive and we do know that we will be working with the juggalos and not against the juggalos now if you guys are thinking what scenarios will you come across juggalos playing gta 5 or gta 5 online of course many of you guys probably came across the character wade herbert in story mode he is actually a juggalo and makes reference to being waylaid by trevor phillips on the way to the gathering with daisy bell and kush chronic so like I mentioned in my previous video, it would make perfect sense for Trevor Phillips to also make an appearance in this DLC, but that isn't looking likely as the actor who plays Trevor Phillips, Stephen Org, has publicly said he doesn't want anything more to do with Trevor Phillips. Now as far as in GTA 5 Online, an unnamed female juggalo is one of the possible bounty targets that players can capture or kill for Maud Eccles. There's also multiple female juggalos among the attendees of the ritual sacrifice Windam party when the player is tasked by Tony Prince with stealing the festival bus to set up their club. So if you guys haven't set up your club yet and you do come across that mission, the ritual sacrifice, that is a good point to like suss out what these juggalo characters are exactly like. And there's also another event in GTA Online where four unnamed juggalos conduct a drug deal with street punks or rednecks and the players take them out in an attempt to make Meriwether look good. Failure to eliminate them simultaneously will attract many more juggalo reinforcements. So the juggalos that we do know of are Wade Herbert, Kush Chronic, Daisy Bell, a character that goes by the name of Bounty 00601819. So obviously he's just under a name of coding and four unnamed drug dealers. Now I'll whack on some images on screen. Now I'll whack on some images of the juggalos on screen so you guys get a better idea of what exactly they look like, the dress code, along with the face paint. So here's Wade from Story, which I'm pretty sure most of you guys have seen already. We've got a picture here of another juggalo, which is one of the bounty targets, which has a mugshot for some reason. Then here we've got some images of the dealers that are part of the juggalo gang. So do take note that all of these juggalos, of course, are wearing face paints and a bunch of unique clothing. So do expect 
also hopefully a bunch of new face paint with this DLC. It would make perfect sense considering it is going to be based around Juggalos and literally every single one of these characters do have face paints on. So as far as the dealers, you do have three males and one female. And here you can see some Juggalos on screen that you can actually find over outside the boathouse spawned in at random times in free roam the boathouse is actually located over in sandy shores if you guys do want to go ahead and try and locate these juggalos and it is completely random what npc juggalos you will see like just chilling outside the boathouse so as you guys just saw you had some male characters there and now you guys can see you also will get female characters at times with this random dude holding a bottle in a brown bag now like i mentioned earlier on in the video there is a bounty target where you guys can actually catch one of these juggalos and here on screen is the image of the juggalo that you guys do capture so once again it is another female character so i do think we're going to get quite a few female characters involved with this new dlc and like i mentioned when you guys set up your nightclub and you come across the ritual sacrifice mission you will see a bunch of characters partying outdoors which as you guys can see on screen a bunch of them are juggalos so whilst these juggalo characters haven't been like a main part of gta 5 online they have been included in many different aspects of the game by rockstar games just subtly hinting at a possible dlc in the future now we do know about one specific character that is going to be included with the juggalos known as dax tes ones two of course put out this the other day where he said the next gta online update features a new character dax seemingly referred to as the juggalo boss and a returning character we worked with before now i've seen a lot of people getting confused making videos on the gt online leak saying that this dax character could potentially be a female well a lot of people aren't aware that dax is actually a name of a rapper who rockstar games used to follow and seemingly don't follow anymore on twitter now the reason a lot of people believe that the character dax will be the rapper dax in real life because as you guys can see by this image on screen he is actually known to wear the clown face paint which of course the juggalos in gta 5 online are synonymous for using i believe he even used this clown artwork for one of his albums which as you guys can see on screen is very very fitting to the theme of the juggalo characters in gta 5 online now dax actually himself does play gta 5 rp so he is aware of gta online like i said rockstar games i believe used to follow him a few years ago so maybe the work he done for rockstar games was done quite a while ago and like i said rockstar games have finally put the final pieces on it to release it in the form of a brand new dlc and of course with dax being a real life rapper it does fit on rockstar games theme recently of incorporating a lot of music to do with gta 5 online and of course last year we received the contract dlc which introduced franklin and dr dre along with a record studio so we've got a record studio there right now in gta 5 online and we've got no other artists besides dr dre so of course all the pieces do match up and it is looking likely that this rapper dax is going to be the main character dax in the new dlc which is going to be the juggalo boss and if i'm honest with you i think dax himself kind of knew that he would be featured in gta 5 online in the form of a juggalo considering that he did use this joker face paint around two years ago and the song did do pretty well i believe it's currently sitting on around 38 million views so it does match up exactly when rockstar games would have been reaching out to different artists to see if they wanted to be incorporated in future gta online updates and of course we do know dax is a fan of gta so if rockstar games would have reached out to him and says do you want to be part of a new update he would have jumped at the opportunity now a lot of people have been asking when we can expect to see this dlc released and according to rockstar games inside of tez funds 2 we should be seeing this dlc released next tuesday on december 13th exactly when the gta plus rewards are planned to be renewed so as always i will be sure to keep you guys fully up to date as soon as we do hear any news as far as the release date and with it being only around a week away we should expect to be seeing a trailer sometime this week most likely tomorrow 
or on a Thursday. And once again, like I said, to make sure you guys do keep up to date with everything straight away, make sure you hit that little bell next to the subscribe button so you guys do keep notified every time I upload a brand new video. And I am interested to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. What are you guys looking forward to most with this upcoming DLC? And as always, if you guys do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest news, all I ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below. And if you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as I do post daily GTA 5 videos. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace.